Children around the world are suffering with little to none resources. And by participating with UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, we can all help. Hi, my name is Brandon James, and today I will be discussing children in third world countries and how they are doing, why we should help these children, and what we can do to help. And this is all coinciding with UNICEF, or as I said, the United Nations Children's Fund. UNICEF is bringing life and resources to children in third world countries, such as Yemen. Civil war has destroyed schools and left homes to rot. And according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, half the population in Yemen wakes up hungry every day. 1.8 million children are acutely malnourished in these countries. And so far this year, UNICEF has treated nearly one fourth of those children bringing them life and allowing these children to continue their name and family. Just to remind you that these children around the world, including here in the United States, are the future and it is our job as humans that all live on this one earth to collectively help each other. Now imagine if your neighbor's child is sick and they asked you for help or like a family friend, you would do it whether it was helping around the house or recommending them a good doctor to see in the area, it is the same at UNICEF with fundraising and awareness events. Anyone can help, even at fingertips on the computer. You can be the first to know about UNICEF's humanitarian relief efforts in times of emergency by going on unicef.com and typing in your email at the bottom of the page. I did it, it's so easy, just two clicks. The children around the world are dying because of difficult living conditions and small acts of awareness that we can do easily will result in big changes in the worldwide networking. And again, anyone can help you, me, your friend, your mom, your dad. We can all help, whether it's participating in volunteering events or just donating $1. For over 70 years, UNICEF has been putting their donations where they need to be which is with the children. Children are always help first because they're the generation of tomorrow. And you can volunteer at any fundraising events at national or local levels. For example, my high school had a UNICEF club where we organized several fundraising events to help support the life-changing work of UNICEF. Now, 89% of every dollar is spent directly to the need of the world's children. Now again, why do we care? Why should we help? Well, it's all about us, humans. We're all in it together. When we see someone suffering, we help. Because when we suffer individually, we would want that help brought back onto us. It's about being a good person. It's about putting your money to a great cause that will not do anything but benefit human civilization. Now, if you would like to help donate, help fundraise, or even just learn about more on the website about UNICEF, you can look at my handout. And again, thank you so much for listening to my presentation. And I hope you learn more about UNICEF and get involved.